I've had a ton of luck. I've said it a few times before, throwing the Jaboom Bates Beaver Balls as the trailer. And if you remember when the when Brett Height won all those tournaments in like, I don't know, early 2010 area, he was throwing a bait with a flat tail on the back. It's called the Lake Fork Magic Swimmer, I believe. And it had a flat tail and it had a lot of bulk to it. And the idea behind this, this type of a bait is if you look, this bait is flat. It's got two legs that are flat. And then it has these little appendages, the, the ball side of them that, that kick when it moves around. But I want the flat profile. I want the bait to glide. Nothing in nature just goes straight down head first like a rock. You know, like if this thing is mimicking, say, a, a perch or a, you know, a crappie or something like that, and it's coming through the water and it bumps off of something, if it just goes straight down and it doesn't glide through the water, I feel like you get less bites. So I found those fish with this chatterbait using a beaver balls. I think this is a 3.8 Thunder Cricket. I was throwing it on the rebound. I'm kind of a rebound guy for chatterbaits in the spring because I feel like they eat it so slow and they kind of come at it and they don't really fully commit to it. I really want to set that hook slowly. I want a slow reaction to it. So this is just a rebound, 15 pound P line test, uh, beaver balls. That is secret bait number one. But at the end of day two, I had a two and a, I think a two and a quarter. I culled it out with a three and three quarters, punching a black blue beaver balls. And this bait is so crazy. It's designed with, with horizontal ribs in it. They run this way. Most baits, they put the ribs to run this way so that it displaces water. But the downside to that is it gets hung up going through cover. And I found a trash mat and I was actually punching through it. This bait was designed by a Louisiana punching machine, Jeremy Norris, when he designed this company. And it comes through the cover quickly. It creates that reaction bite. I did keep this bait a secret last year. Um, I asked Jeremy if I could keep it a secret for at least a year. And he said that after uh, his anglers had won over $100,000 on the bait, that it had to come out. So.